This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week is North you Dakota. You betcha, North Dakota, bucks and ducks. Geez, Vicky, you know, we oh, really... Oh, geez, Ralph, you know, the you guys know, we... up there in North Dakota, they gave us these hats and odd, yeah, but it's hot out here. It's really hot, you know, it's, uh, you betcha, by God, it's it's hot, it's yeah. warm. Yeah, well, this, th this week's lucky logo is the new Archery Products logo, NAP, that's the one you need to find, yep, mm-hmm. Mm, and oh, geez. geez, Ralph, you know, we're going to make it a little bit bigger this time, make it a little easier for them to spot it. Geez, I think that's a good, uh, you betcha, because that's a good idea. Yeah, you think so? Good then idea. at the end of the show, we'll let them know where to go. Yep, idea. All good right, idea. should we go ahead and get into my hunt? You know, it's Vicky's first night out with Double B, the Brants, and this is Vicky Johnson and I'm Ralph Johnson, and we're gonna visit with the Brants because we love it up there. They got big bucks. Oh, geez, just big roll the ducks, footage. Where'd you just geese. roll the footage? <laughs> geez, they're gonna kill us. <laughs> well, we've been traveling for approximately eight hours. Vicky's been doing nothing but sleeping. Baloney, I've been working the whole time. I've been working hard. I'm driving. I'm answering phone calls. I mean, I, I wished I could get some support from this woman. Yeah, I'm going to support you. But uh, we're real close to Fargo. You betcha, by God. Yeah, we're up here in almost North Dakota. And uh, we can't wait. We did go through a snow and sleet storm uh, in just pretty much just north of central Minnesota. North and, uh, of central? North central. But um, we're about maybe two hours from Double B, from the Brands. And we cannot wait. You know, this has become one of a, one of our favorite stops every year. And a lot of people ask us, why do you go to the same outfitters? It's pretty simple. When you have outfitters that absolutely produce they, the game, we're seeing more. We're, we have, well, from when we started with Double B to now, we're actually seeing more and bigger deer than we saw originally on the first year. What does that tell you? How their management program's doing and their hunting? I'm t they are right on. And now we're going to be getting close here to Fargo, so I'm getting tired of talking. Good, I'm getting tired of listening. And it's time to rock and roll. We're sitting in one of our favorite spots, Double B Outfitters, North Dakota. The past four years, two out of the last three years, I've shot my buck right here out of the same field. They've let the weeds grow a little bit thicker this year, but they do have turnips, I guess, somewhere in there. Looks pretty thick to me, though. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. What are you doing? I'm posing like David and John do. With a pitchfork? Mm-hmm. How about if we just get back into my hunt? Hey, mm -hmm. watch this. This is really kind of cool. La, 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 la. This is what North Dakotians call connected. I feel so connected to Ralph now.
You know, I'm always wishing to get a big buck like Vicky the first night. Thanks, John and David. Our saying is when in doubt get out we feel it's a good shot we got back to the lodge as quietly as possible so we don't bump anything else we're gonna clean up <laughs> get all this nasty black stuff off my face and then um we're gonna have some dinner and we'll go out and we'll go and recover my buck came out we went right to the cedar the cedar post is somewhere right around here where did he go right there. Oh, right there that's the last place that i saw him and then we just got to find him from there so so let's get right, at her. Should we pick up here and see what we can do? Okay. Uh oh, here we go. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, and there's a bunny too. <laughs> oh, 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 he's got good mass. <laughs> Oh, Look at the size of the deer. Oh, yeah, you know what? We probably would have been okay to come get him. But, you know, when in doubt, we got out and... We're we'll way better him. off to wait and just be sure that everything is just what you want. And this is just perfect. Oh, he's a beautiful, beautiful buck. Big body on him again. You guys grow him pretty big around here. Yeah, look at the mass <laughs> in the base there. Oh. He's beautiful. Really heavy. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, double B. First night out. Beautiful nine point North Dakota buck. Look at my guards and everything on him. He is absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys. Now just remember, Ralph can't get anything bigger. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is, well, shot placement. You know, so many times we get caught up in the moment, and the bottom line here is understanding shot placement, and you're taking that game home every single time. On a broadside shot, yes, we want to come up along the shoulder, the crease, and we want to be here, but you see our margin of error. Here's the thing, this leg bone comes up, it joints, and it goes at this point, and then it comes up here, and your shoulder blade comes into it. So knowing that, we want to get off that shoulder and stay in this sweet spot. As the animal starts to quarter away, what we want to do is get off that sweet spot on the entrance. Always aim for the opposite leg. Yes, your entrance looks like it's coming further back and you're not getting in there, but you got to remember, every single time you put that shot on the opposite, always aiming for the opposite leg, you're in the boiler maker. That is your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. Well, Vic, I have to congratulate you. Great deer. He's a beautiful deer, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. First night. Mm -hmm. Little favorite. That's right. Now we're going to go into duck hunting with Jake Jacobs uh, from Mad Dog Stern. Uh, okay, that's not that. The reason why we do this is because when we go to Double B in North Dakota, in the morning, we can't get to the tree stands because we're going to scare all the deer out of the field. So in the morning, we... Ah, we duck hunt. We waterfowl hunt. hunt. Ow. And I normally do a lot of the shooting just because I'm more accurate than Vicky. Well, I guess he can be good at one thing better than me. My hair doesn't get in the way. <laughs> Tomorrow morning we're going we're going uh, waterfowl hunting. We just put saw a good feed and we're going to set up there. And uh, you talk like you know what you're doing. It sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes! 
Well, as you can see, we're having a blast here at Double B. Uh, Jake, oh my gosh, look at them all. There are birds flying everywhere, and it's time for Vicky to switch. Give me in there. <laughs> I know you are. But I hit the duck the first time and Jake cleaned it up for me. It's cold out here. I liked it better over there when I was filming. I had a little blankie over me and I was all tucked in nice and warm and the wind was going over me and now it's cold. Oh, Vixter, stop crying, stop whining and just hunt. Right to the left, right, right in front of you. Hit him again! Hit him again! Hit him again! Reload! Keep in him, Vicky! Keep in him! Four shells! Reload! You got a whole two in your mouth. Oh, is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Here, you want my gun? Let's just stand behind her like the Mexican dove hunts. Yeah. Keep feeding guns over. A duck. Hey, 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 look at there. Finally. Finally. Okay, I have to give Ralph credit. My cheek hasn't been to my stock. Thanks. There, down. He's good. No. No, no. Kill him. Take him. No. Kill him. I think I hit one. <laughs> I imagine Ralph's going to say he got them all, huh? You betcha. <laughs> hey. I saw some pretty nice shoes. How was it over in camp sitting and drinking coffee? Was you know, it, it was a, it was miserable. Was I would it? have much rather been out oh, here. I'm, well, you know, I heard it. the tougher it is, the better you guys like that's it, it, right? That's it. Yeah. That's 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 North Dakotian's motto. The tougher it is, the better we like. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice up in you bet your buck country. Yeah, did you like my deer first night? Pretty cool. Was first it? night. Yeah. Isn't it funny how all of a sudden all the uh, the guides and everybody like just favor you? I know, but now it's your turn to hunt. Jeez, I just I don't understand it. Oh, jeez, Ralph, get over jeez. it, would you? My gosh, let's just roll the footage, you know? You betcha. I'm rolling her all right. Down the hill. We've had two spikes, really a spike and a little little forky. A couple does and yearlings come through. You know, we thought this might be a real good stand, but. It looks like the majority of the activity is going out across the beans, up into the cornfields. But we still got time. It ain't over till the fat big buck sings.
Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, <laughs> peekaboo, I see you. Let's get back to my recovery because I'm dealing with Cousin It here. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about you guys, when you get a chance, you get her done. Brother, there he is. Oh, wow. He's a big one, too. Huh? Holy crud. We, uh, you were right. They all started to meander. Come Okay, we saw it. Remember that buck you showed us on camera? The, the double main beam one? Uh -huh. We saw him out there. I'm telling you, we probably saw 10 shooters oh, out really? there. And they were all just heading, like, to towards your corn up there. Uh-huh. We had, we had spike bucks, we had doe and yearlings, they came through first and they just kept going. And then we had, we had a, I, I don't even remember. And, and then all of a sudden, uh, you I'm, excited, Ralph. oh brother, I, oh, <laughs> David, I, and it's your birthday, so we have a birthday <laughs> buck for you. Now he was right, like he was just in here. So my, big space, huh? yeah, look at this, well my arrow went through. So I'm just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This buck didn't. There, here's my arrow, okay? Okay, there it is. Look at that. Pit fire, baby. Oh, and by the way, there's my buck. <laughs> yeah. David, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Neck on that oh, he's he's good spread. Wide, he's broke off. He broke off a little bit of that. Knee. Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna shoot him. Yeah, is right. He... <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he a magnificent deer? Yeah. Look at look at the size of this deer. I know he's gigantic. Uh, we'll we'll weigh him. It'll be fun to see. Just there's a lot of people that you know wonder how big deer are. I wonder how big a deer like this is. So well, Vicky, last year shot that remember that real long main beam monster buck that yep. deer weighed 30 something yep. dressed yep. that was a big buck thank you this we, oh yeah vicky <laughs> says thank you Again, as usual vicky and i are up here with double b outfitters david and john brandt well you betcha because we geez we we really hope you like this week's show up at Double B's in North Dakota. Oh yeah, you betcha they got lots of big bucks up there. You know, I really like North Dakota because you know, they got big bucks, big ducks, big geese, and ooh, I got a little sliver. Okay, so if you saw this week's NAP logo, the lucky logo, you need to log on to huntingnet.com slash archer's choice and let us know where you saw the new archery product NAP logo. Ralph? Just so everyone knows, actually, the knife isn't that big. Ralph is just that small. Yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this week's show. <laughs> we'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice. <laughs> you betcha.